I have a story called Yoko's Paper Cranes by Rosemary Wells. When Yoko was very small, she and her grandmother, Obasan, fed the cranes in the pond at the end of the garden. The cranes stay in our garden only a few months, said Obasan to Yoko. Then they fly away from Japan. Don't go, said Yoko. The cranes come back every year, said Obasan. Yoko's grandfather, Oji-san, told her, taught her to fold paper into cranes. Oji-san made cranes, frogs, and lots of other animals out of his colored papers. When Yoko was a big girl, she and her mama and papa sailed far away from Japan, but Yoko never forgot Oba-san and Oji-san. Every week, a letter came to Yoko and her family in America. Every week, a letter went back to Obasan and Ojisan in Japan. Obasan's birthday was in winter. Yoko had no money to buy a birthday present. Yoko knew that thousands of miles away in Japan, Obasan's garden was cold and snowy. Obasan was waiting for the cranes to come back to her garden pond. Yoko asked her mother for beautiful paper. She folded the paper into a crane, just as Oji-san had, had shown her. She made three cranes of different colors. Then she put them in a package and put stamps on the package. The mailman took it and sent it in an airplane across the sea. All night that airplane flew from warm California to wintry Japan. Another mailman left the package at Obasan's door. Obasan opened the package. She and Oji-san hung Yoko's cranes in the kitchen window. Obasan opened Yoko's birthday card. It was written in Japanese. Soon I will come back to Japan, just like the cranes, is what the card said. The paper cranes turned on their strings. Happy birthday from Yoko, tingled in the air around the cranes. Obasan sipped her green tea while the snow fell outside her window. <laughs>